Fuck up, Swanson. It's like you said, death is natural. And Sal lived a good long life. But so much is changing. And I've never been a fan of change. Salvatore was a constant in my life. In my experience, the only constant is change. No. Oh, nice to see you, Ron. I couldn't help but overhear. Sure, I'm sorry about your loss. You know, every time we lose a compadre, our collective lantern gets a little bit dimmer. Hey, you look awful familiar. Have we met before? Oh, I'm sure our souls have collided in one lifetime or another. No, that's not it. Are you in my Frisbee golf league? Oh, yeah. I play for the Super Spinners. Oh, I'm on the Frisbee champs. Oh, cool. I named us. Andrew, stop speaking to this man. He is the worst human being on Earth. Oh, come on. Death makes brothers of us all. I've always found that when my soul aches with loss, it's best to turn to Eastern wisdom. This is from the Isle of Isla in Scotland. This is as Eastern as my wisdom gets. Swanson, this handsome spiritual cowboy may actually be right about turning to the East. I have an idea. Trust me. Who cuts your hair? Nobody. Whenever my hair feels it has completed its journey, it simply sheds itself off. I hate you so much. And I love you, my brother. Donna, this is crazy. Typhoon is an artist, and the human head is his is canvas. Just listen, you're gonna cut the man's hair, you're gonna charge him $8. It'll take you four minutes. So just shut up and make the man look like this. Fine. Ugh. So, Typhoon, what do you like to do for fun? I'm writing an electronic opera about Brittany Murphy, and I do the chandelier design for my friend's drag puppet show. No further questions. All I really wanna do is dance. Except lately, all the good warehouse raves are filled with Euro trash. Euro trash, I like that. It is indeed a garbage continent. Yes, oh my God, I had the worst time in Berlin last May. Everyone was on their stupid bikes. I was like, ew. <laughs> Please talk more about how you hate Europe and bicycles. Hello, Miss Nope. Hello, former strange person I used to friend. You're looking very Ron-like. You have your same hair. No, I don't. I have bangs now. I've never known what bangs are, and I don't intend to learn. Well, maybe you should. Yeah, you're not going to win $50 million, you freak. Maybe not. But I'm not not going to win nothing. Paul? <clears throat> that guy is a joke. This lawsuit is definitely getting thrown out. I don't know. Those are John Ralphio's lawyers. He once got him $60,000 because he got too scared at a haunted house. <sighs> And what exactly did you witness? Defendant, alias Ron Swanson, alias my boss, used appropriate force to prevent further damage to the wedding of Leslie Nope, alias my other boss. You sound as if you have a special interest in law enforcement. Yes, sir. In fact, at the time, I was trying to become a police officer, but was deemed unfit for the force. And what happened? Don't know. Well, I pooched the brain exam. Just to be safe, I wouldn't take anything I say too seriously. Next witness, Your Honor. Ms. Ludgate, have you ever heard Mr. Swanson threaten to hurt Councilman Jam? Ronnie, are you kidding me? I've never heard him threaten to hurt anyone or anything. The guy's like a vegetarian. Look at him, he's like a big old soft teddy bear. His nickname around the office is Softy Pants McHuggable. Did you ever hear Mr. Swanson say he intended to injure Councilman Jam before the day of the wedding? The answer is a flat no. Ron doesn't really pay much attention to other people. I doubt he even knew you existed. Also, may I say for the record, that is a dope pocket square. Can I see that bad boy? Tom and April were excellent witnesses in my defense. Unfortunately, every single word out of their mouths was a lie. There's only one thing I hate more than lying. Skim milk, which is water that's lying about being milk. Is that a travel pillow around your neck? Ron, I don't know how to explain this to you. When you've been down in the pit, have you been in the pit? No, I haven't gotten down there yet. Well, I have. When you fell in? When I visited the bottom of the pit on a fact-finding mission. And when you're down there, you get some perspective about what it all means. Now, let me tell you something, Ron. What it means is I want this subcommittee. 
I've been quite open about this around the office. I don't want this parks department to build any parks because I don't believe in government. I think that all government is a waste of taxpayer money. My dream is to have the park system privatized and run entirely for profit by corporations like Chuck E. Cheese. They have an impeccable business model. I would rather work for Chuck E. Cheese. Ron Swanson, it is my pleasure to inform you that you are a finalist for the job of assistant city manager. Well, Chris, I feel I should remind you that I do not believe that the position or the entire government should exist. That said, you'd be a fool not to pick me. I will walk deeper into the belly of the beast if it means I'm able to further limit reckless government spending. I mean, I have so many ideas. Some are simple, like take down traffic lights and eliminate the post office. The bigger ones will be tougher, like bring all of this crumbling to the ground. So after all that, it's really not that bad. You're going to get a letter in your file. Ron, I just wanted to say thank Don't you. Don't worry about it. No, I didn't, I didn't do it for Leslie. I did it because I hate bureaucracy. My idea of a perfect government is one guy who sits in a small room at a desk, and the only thing he's allowed to decide is who to nuke. The man is chosen based on some kind of IQ test and maybe also a physical tournament, like a decathlon. And women are brought to him, maybe, when he desires them. April! Listen, I was trying to buy this handcrafted mahogany wood model of a B-25 Mitchell Panchito aircraft. Aw, for me? Don't sass me. And I went to this website and this ad popped up that said, Hey, Ron Swanson, check out this great offer. What's your question? My question is, what the hell? Like, how do they know who you are? Yeah. Okay, um, there are these things called cookies where like if you go to a site and buy something, it'll remember you and then create ads for other stuff you might want to buy. So it learns information about me? Seems like an invasion of privacy. Dude, if you think that's bad, go to Google Earth and type in your address. Three, one, one. Well, Diane, for potholes, you want to speak with Public Works. I understand. You've tried them four times. Government is inefficient and should be dissolved. Please hold while I transfer you. Would you like to sample our vegan bacon? 100% meatless. Yes, please. Another, please. S sir, is there a problem? I'm just making sure no one ever has to eat this. I, I don't think I can give you any more. I want one. What a gorgeous herbaceous medley. There's been a mistake. You've accidentally given me the food that my food eats. Salad is traditionally the first course at a wedding. Is a gerbil marrying a rabbit? I couldn't care less about the commendation, but Indianapolis is home to Charles Mulligan's Steakhouse, the best damn steakhouse in the damn state. I have taken a picture of every steak I've ever eaten there. June 2004, porterhouse, medium rare, bearnaise sauce. January 2000, they call this one the enforcer. February 96, the steak, ribeye. The whiskey, Lagavulin 16. And the lady next to me, a bitch. Specifically, my ex-wife, Tammy. Okay, this is, this is the first time I ever went there. <laughs> Look at me, just a kid. Ron, would you like some salad? <laughs> Since I am not a rabbit, no, I do not. Try it. Sounds good for you. You got it. Mmm. Delicious. Ah! Ron? What in the devil's name is this? Portobello mushrooms. Where's the steak? Oh, there's no steak. That's a healthier option. It's organically grown. Go. Oh. Ron? Are you okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Can you get us a cold compress or something? 